Oh, welcome. I have uh, started up Windows 10 and went to this um, virtual box and it says, hey, there's a new version online. So I clicked on it. I believe I went to this page somewhere. It says, okay, you can download it. Okay, let's click it again. <laughs> and it's already downloading. It's this page actually. So VirtualBox is here to stay. So double click it, open it, and scale VirtualBox. So we can actually be updated or upgraded, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to see anything on my desktop. Oh, it's okay, quick launch bar, it's here. So okay, fine, the rest is okay. Install it. Now, if you want to install VirtualBox, you have to make sure that your bias is set right or your setup or your EFI or UEFI, lots of names. Basically, when you boot up your system, processes start and you have to tell that virtual uh, virtualization is possible. That's actually something you should Google them on your laptop, on your desktop, on your motherboard, how to enable virtualization on my machine. So we've uh, launched that. What we need as well, let's move this one back here. Uh, it's going to go for Apple Linux and download or something like that. Equivalent. I have not uh, any torrent application in here, but it doesn't really matter. So you have three choices. Either you download from SourceForge, and maybe I include this one as well. The other one is uh, Netherlands, meaning it's just a click and download thing. It's all in here, but it's also in here. And it's also in here. It's all good. It's all the same ISO. It's just with a different calamaris and with different kernels. But uh, after installation, you just do an update. It's simple as that. And you've got the same system. Now, the torrents, like I said, I don't have any torrent things installed on my Windows. Don't need it. Don't want it. And um, let's use this one coming from SourceForge, since a lot of people also have questions sometimes hey how is it possible it's that slow and this is the amount which i'm uh, astonished actually so a big amount for downloads which is great of course and if you want to download something well for the security reasons if you want to check is your download correct is it corrupt or not corrupt then it's as simple as nd5 sum and then your download file which in this case is called Apple linux version 1905.2 iso and it's gonna give you the same exact hash here, same line of, of numbers and letters. So it's that's it's that's exactly the same. Then you know what you've downloaded is the same as what I've uploaded, what's on SourceForge. Okay, so that's the check that everything is working, that uh, everything is is uh, downloaded properly. So if you want to download something, and that's what I wanted to include in this video, there is also this problems downloading if you have issues downloading somewhere then you have to go for something that's more near to you in this case brazil france maybe free france and then you have to wait depending on uh, the counter here maybe the counter is not working because i've heard that things have gone wrong with this counter at source forge so i guess we're not going to get it from here i do want to try it again but then maybe with an older one, see if it's the version that we're working on. So it's still the same. So today it's still an issue on SourceForge. I suppose I will fix it at some point in time. So I'm gonna get my guys from here. So we have three versions, three possibilities to get it. And it's really under one minute that I have it. So it's super, super fast. It doesn't really show, doesn't really tell, but as you see, I'm only waiting 38 seconds to get two gigabytes. So yes, the server we have purchased at uh, Holland is super, super fast. Seathost.eu. When that's in, what we'll do then is we'll go and, and make ourselves our latest Apple Linux. Now, what I do always is delete all the files. That's a new tip that I am following uh, and then we start again and maybe this is something that somebody told me uh just today tomorrow uh, then on the mail it says hey everything works fine i can't well i can't install Linux, but when i use no mode set 
then everything works. I said, yes, that's particular to your hardware. So you need to remember to do that because every Linux system is going to be a problem then. So no modes at just take a look, take a look at uh, on the forum there, I've explained it. So I'm going to remove everything, delete all files. This is my template, go and check if it's okay. So the template is for Linux, Arch Linux 64. And then the system is 5050. Enable EFI. So if you want to make an attempt to have an UEFI or an EFI in VirtualBox, then you need to click it on. Uh, click on this thing, uh, like articlelinuxd.com. You'll see that I have an Arch Linux installation with Grub, MS DOS, and one with EFI, but still in VirtualBox. So that's going to work if you want to try that out. But normally we don't do that. We say everything is going to be like MVR. This should be enabled. That's correct for 5050 again. And acceleration is on display. That's the most important thing where things go wrong. VBOX VGA, that's the one you need. Maybe enable 3D acceleration and compare if it's better than without it, but I'm not sure if it's any better. So there you have it. You have the complete setup. Choose disk image. Here it is in the downloads. Let's open it up. Oh, wrong, wrong idea, Eric. So don't do this. This is a template. This should be empty at all times. What you do now is clone and then say latest Arco Linux. And later on, you're going to say Arco Linux B with XFCE and then X and then with Qtile and then with Plasma and so on. And you have this template and with Ubuntu, of course, but Okay, you have to maybe to reset some things here because this, well, just pointing to Arch Linux, but that's really not um, an issue. I think just clone it and you'll be good to go. So latest Arch Linux is a new, well, disk image or a new folder as you can will see on your system. And there you're gonna say, this is my source. This is my optical drive, ISO, double click it. And since this is not a really, really new application, I don't think we'll see any of these pop-ups telling you can't do Control F. And yes, I am recording this with Screencastify, so something to share your screen, your audio with. That's what it says, and sharing, stop sharing and hide. So this is Windows 10, uh, I think it's 18 or 9 still. There are talks of releasing the next one, but it's not here in Belgium yet. Not for me anyway. Erase disk, so the no swap thing. Uh, it all depends how many memory you have and you wanna use, but in my case, I'm gonna keep it. By the way, always check if this is filled in. That's one of the latest tips, because if you change, it's it gets forgotten, it's 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 empty now. It's you need to actually say to well boot put a bootloader. If you don't put a bootloader in your system, you won't look load your system. So don't forget to check if that's filled in. That's it. So okay, fine, go, go, go. And next, we're off and install. And the system is going to be erased, uh, formatted, and well, that's already done. And now he's actually going to unzip or unsquash, untar, whatever you want to call it, but decompress this big file, which contains your complete Linux system, all set up, all tweaked, the one you're looking at here. And everything is installed and out of the box. You have a system and like 10, 15 minutes, you have everything set up. The only thing you need to do is change the theme, change the wallpaper, change the icons, and uh, voila, have fun. So let's wait for the installation to end. I'm gonna see, can I pause this thing? I don't think I can really. So I'm guessing I'm gonna stop the video here. since so it's gonna take, well, it's time and there's nothing really to see. You know what I'll do, I'll boot up, I'll uh, say to the virtual box, get the ISO out of it, 
and then when everything is loaded up again i'll do an update maybe a mirror or a mirror s to see that I have the fastest arch linux servers around for belgium and um of course if you run it in south america it will be the the ones in your neighborhood obviously i'll do a scale if this need to be if there i see in the updates that there is something written to etc scale and i say oh something new so i'll do a scale so it going the, the configurations will be copy pasted to the home directory and last but not least i'm going to check if applications coming from the aur are going to be um uh, have updates so i'm gonna build those download those build those and eventually if you want to have a real system that I'm, i mean a production computer i'll probably install also the nemesis scripts so i'll install more so like fun stuff like like spotify and stuff and discord and telegram and stuff like that whatsapp things that that uh, we use and that can go on linux systems all right that sets i'm gonna cut the video here you see it's just going very slowly it's two gigabyte that needs to be uncompressed just wait for it and then boot up again all right have fun